utilize. Okay. The reason being, here's the here's the, here's the um, here's the reason behind it. There are some IRS codes that govern these type of policies. And if you're if you really want to get into it, there's a 7702 and a 77E um, tax codes. And they say it says that if you have any cash in this type of vehicle, it is not subject to taxes. <laughs> See, that's what I didn't want to go too far. But because you guys are here tonight, you're getting some more information than I would normally get. But these are, this is not subject to taxes. So when you do grow significant or small, as little or as much as you want in there, when you do take that money out, you don't have to worry about taxes. All right? Now, it is subject to a what's called a surrender period. All right? The surrender period has to do with the expenses that it takes to put the policy together. Because remember, they're insuring you for 300, 500, a million. They're insuring you for a lot of income, a lot of money. So there's a charge associated with that. But instead of charging you up front the whole entire amount, what they do is spread it out over a period of time, whether it's five years, 10 years, 15 years. So in that surrender period, they, won't, they don't want you to take all of your cash value out or else you'll be considered to surrendering the policy, which is what you don't want to do. So there's gonna be a portion, a percentage that they want you to take out, that you can take out without surrendering the policy, but you, can, you still have access to that cash value, to that cash, all right? Um, and these things, these are used for several different things whether it's alternatives for long-term savings, whether it's college plan. You ever heard of uh, the Gerber Grow Up Grow, Gerber Grow Up Plan? <clears throat> All right, some more information. Um, <laughs> the Gerber Grow Up Plan, do you know what actually fuels that? Do you know what that actually is? It is actually, it is actually a whole life policy whole life policy that they use to, uh, to fuel that, all right? And it's a permanent policy that has this mechanism in there, all right? So you can have a little, so what are they doing? They're capitalizing on the age and the health of a baby, right? And they're also utilizing the fact that a whole life insurance plan has this cash value mechanism in there. So, if you're trying to save for college, this is a way to do it. One alternative way to do it. Um, I'm trying to see if I should be talking about this this week or next week. <laughs> next week, keep us suspense. Yes. All right. So if you come next week. <laughs> Yeah, if you come next week, somebody remind me about alternative ways for saving for college. And I'll go in depth. Alternative ways for saving for co college. And I'll go in depth. Thank, thank you all. Uh, thank you, audience, for uh, keeping me. I like to give information. I love, I love telling. I love telling everyone things that they don't know because I know it's going to help you in the long run. Uh, so I guess I get excited, and I'll tell you the whole week. You know, I can finish the first, the second two tonight, but that's next week. All right. Uh, any other questions on on proper protection and emergency? Great, 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 great. If you have any specific personal questions, um, I do have a, uh, a presentation questionnaire. Don't hesitate to put uh, 
put that information or a question down. I would love to answer that for you. But thanks, thank you again for taking time out to uh, come out and uh, get educated a little bit. Uh, next week we'll be doing uh, building wealth and estate preservation. So you want to be here for that. Uh, if you don't, if you don't, uh, it, that's the one you want to be at. If you want to understand how, after you built your, after you set a budget that works for you, after you built your discretionary income, after you have, after you have established how to get your life out of debt, after you establish an emergency fund, you're talking about long-term growth. Um, who, who in here, um, who in here wants to work forever? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the reason I ask that question, the reason I ask that question is I know that nobody wants to work forever. So understanding how long-term growth works, where, what vehicles, how does it work, what's going to be the best for you, those are things that we're going to address next week. All right, and then after you built it, how do you protect it? All right, because there's this uncle that everybody talks about that I have no idea. I have never seen him before. This, this Uncle Sam guy. Have you heard of him? Uncle Sam? <laughs> Sticky fingers, right? You want to be able to understand how to make sure that this uncle does not get into your into your long-term wealth. Especially if, if you have a family and you want to make sure it's protected for them, you want to make sure you have, uh, you want to make sure you have things in place that when it is time to transfer it, it goes, all of it goes, not just what's left over. And what's left over can be very small if you don't properly protect it. So we'll get into that as well. All right, so uh, enjoy the rest of the lovely food we have back there and get home safe. Thank you.